We serve a covenant-keeping God. We are a covenant people. And it is in the framework of covenant with others, uh, God being first, uh, and then our brethren, the church leaders, uh, etc. It is in the framework of covenant uh, that we have our place, uh, and together uh, we are a powerful force for God. Uh, when covenant uh, is broken uh, and violated, uh, we sacrifice what we could have been. And you can break covenant long before you ever leave uh, by the words that you speak, uh, by the thoughts uh, that you think in your heart and mind uh, about the brethren, the fellowship, your leaders, uh, and those who you are uh, in relationship with. Uh, the Word of God, the Bible, uh, is spoken in the language uh, of covenant. Our mission is dependent on covenant relationships. Brethren in a local church and fellowship who have covenanted together in a binding, permanent relationship. Our mission is dependent on covenant. When God ordained covenant relationship is broken, something begins to be set in motion uh, that deteriorates uh, and you can lose life altogether. I had someone come into my office uh, about a year or a year and a half ago and uh, announced to me, Pastor, uh, I am not leaving Jesus. Uh, I am just moving on from this church. Uh, and it wasn't but a few months that he left Jesus as well. So for some it can be a death sentence. But others plunge the knife into the call and think they can move on and do now what they were doing before without any consequence. I can tell you that once God ordained, covenant relationship is broken, things will not be the same. The genius of God has been invested in our fellowship uh, through Pastor Mitchell uh, and many of you here. And one of my real burdens is some of our younger disciples and pastors. Uh, you have no idea what you are protected from, uh, the insanity, uh, the self-preserving spirit, uh, covenant-breaking spirit uh, of the religious world. Uh, we are, in a sense, uh, in a cocoon uh, of safety uh, and protection uh, by virtue uh, of what God has done through Pastor Mitchell uh, establishing this fellowship. <laughs>